Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. In today's episode, I'm going over 2021 AMC 10B number 23. Please pause the video if you want to try this problem and proceed watching when you're done. First of all, let's start by understanding the problem. The problem states that the probability that the coin will cover part of the black region. However, the part word in this problem is actually inter interpreted as partial partial black or all black meaning that if there is a circle that locates directly in the middle of the black region it is allowed so after understanding the problem let's get started by solving it so let's mark our known information first. So we know that this is 2, this is 2, the whole thing is 8, meaning this middle part would be 4. And because the diameter of the ball is 1, the radius would be 1 half. And this side length would be 2 root 2. And after realizing it, it states that the coin is completely in the square, meaning that the center of the coin must be one radius away from the border. So let's draw the border where the center of the coin could land. So inside this border is where the center of the coin could land. And whenever the center of the coin lands outside of the border, partially or all of the circle, all of the coin would be outside. That is not allowed. So we don't want that happen. So let's see. There are two cases in this problem. The first case would be the triangular part here. A part of the circle in the part of the circle is in this triangular part of the black. The second part would be the middle square. And the middle square part of the coin could land in the middle square. So let's get started by looking at the triangular part first. The triangular part, we realize that the middle or the center of the coin cannot land outside this. We don't need to consider that. And also, we notice that because the, some part of it has to land in the black, the radius must be within half a unit from the black. So the radius here would be one half. And this is a 40, 45, 45, 90 triangle. And how do we calculate the area of it? To calculate the probability, we need to calculate the probability is equal to area of succeed or the area that we want over the area of the test area, basically the whole area, the whole area for infinite cases. So let's see, how do we calculate the area for this triangle? We can draw a height from here and realize that this and this are equal, meaning this is a uh, still a 45 45 90 triangle and if we extend this line to the end this would be square root of 2 because this side is 2 and this would be 1 half this part has is also a 45 45 90 triangle in this part the rate the side length would be one half. So this part would be 
square root of 2 over 2. So this, what we actually want, would be square root of 2 minus half of square root of 2 plus 1 half. That would give us square root of 2, uh, square root of 2 plus 1 over 2. And because this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, and if this is square root of 2 plus 1 over 2, this is also square root of 1 plus 2, this is also square root of 1 plus 2, and the area of the triangle would be square root of 2 plus 1, because that's two of them, times square root of 2 plus 1 over 2 times 1 half. That would bring us to 3 plus that is 2 square root of 2 over 4. Please see that there are 4 of the triangles in this image. Therefore, we need to multiply this area by 4. So area of the triangles are this times 4, which is 3 plus 2 square root of 2. So now let's investigate in the middle. Part. Notice that this is a side length, which is 2 square root of 2. We can draw a diameter or diagonal in this square. In this square, the diagonal would be 4 because this is also a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So let's see what part of this portion can the coin land on. The coin can land, obviously, the center of the coin can land inside. The center of the coin can also land half a unit away from, can also land half a unit away from the side from of the square. Notice that I don't extend the line like forever, that is false, because the, this part right here, this side, does not restrict after this. And the only thing restricting this is this point. So this would be a circle of radius a half. Like this. And I will draw the two radius for convenience sake. So all four sides like that. Now we just need to calculate this area. This area is pretty easy to calculate as the middle square. We can calculate the middle square first. Let's call it area 1. The middle square would be 4 times 4 divided by 2 or 8. That is because if I draw a height here and make it a triangle, this would be 2. Then this area would be 2 times 4, which is 8, divided by 2, which is 4. And this uh, opposite one is also 8, uh, also 4. So the combined area would be 8. Now we need to calculate this area. This area would be height with one half, let's call it area two, which is height with one half times this length or two square root of two. Notice that there are four of these rectangles here, so we need to multiply by four. That would give us, if I cancel these out, that would give us four root two. And the area three would be those quarter circles. Realize that there are four quarter circles, and four quarter circles would make it a one full circle with radius one half, meaning that the, the area of the four quarter circles would be one half squared pi r phi, pi r squared, one half squared times pi, which is one fourth pi. 
and the area of the square which this is not really a square but it's area above the square all right would be equal to 8 plus 4 root 2 plus 1 fourth pi now the area total would be 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 8 plus 4 root 2 plus 1 fourth pi and that would give us 11 plus 6 root 2 plus 1 fourth pi this is area succeed area total would be notice that the even though the tri, the big squares side length would be 8 but there are one half on each side where the center of the square cannot land so the actual total area would have a side length of 7 so the area total would be 7 squared or 49 therefore the probability that we are looking for would be the denominator would be 49 and the numerator would be 11 plus 6 root 2 plus 1 fourth pi and since the question asks as the denominator as 196 we want to multiply by 4 on both sides of the fraction 49 times 4 which is 196 would equal to 44 plus 24 root 2 plus pi and looking back into the problem we can see that is exactly the form that we want so in this case we would see that a is equal to 44 and b would equal to 24 therefore a plus b is equal to 44 plus 24 or 68 going back to the problem we can see that our final answer would be c 68 thank you for watching and have a great day